I'm Carol Vorderman and welcome to Perfect 10. 10 questions, 10 points, all done in just 10 minutes. Yes, I am back with another dose of riddles, puzzles and brain teasers, which will educate you, entertain you and probably irritate the life out of you at the same time. There are 10 tricky teasers every day, Monday to Friday, for a possible total score of 50 by the end of the week. Not only is it good for the mind, it's also quite a lot of fun. So make sure you subscribe, you follow and you like to get the next episode as soon as it drops. Right, I've got loads of fun questions for you today. So sit up, grab a cuppa, engage the brain because Tuesday's Perfect 10 is mere moments away. But before we hear today's questions, let's take a look at yesterday's anagram. I asked you which daytime TV show is an anagram of the words haunting Ra, and the answer I was looking for was Bargain Hunt. So well done if you got that right, but no points ever for our anagrams. That was just a little something to keep you thinking between Perfect 10 episodes. Right, let's get on with today's questions, shall we? Have you got a Perfect 10 score in you today? I hope so. Let's find out. Here are today's questions. We call question one your starter for a perfect 10, as hopefully it'll get you a point on your scorecard right from the off. Here it is. How is the National Aeronautics and Space Administration better known? Is at the ready for question two, as this is our hearsay round. Which well-known phrase or saying is hidden in these sounds? Dearly beloved, we are here today to baptise this believer... So, who has the logs and the firelighters? Here you go, Father. Thank you. Let the ceremony begin. Say what you hear, hear, say, and you can't go far wrong. Answers, as always, after the final question. We move on to question three. Carol lateral thinking. Mathematically, if a chicken and a half lays an egg and a half in a day and a half, how many eggs will six chickens lay in six days? I love a little bit of maths. It's, it's a really good way to get that mind of yours limbered up. So give it a really good go, that one. Grab a pen and paper if you need it. Our next round is for Masters of Memory. It's question four on Memory Round. Listen to the clip. Retain as much info as you possibly can and a question will follow. Here we go. The train from Platform 4 is the 8.30 train to Manchester Piccadilly. This train is made up of eight coaches. The 8.40 train to Leeds is delayed. The 9.10 train to Hebden Bridge is now departing from Platform 11. Passengers for Sheffield are advised to take the next train from Platform 2 and change at Stockport. The 8.40 train to Leeds has been cancelled. Passengers for the 9.20 service to Liverpool are advised that trains will not stop at Wigan. Please use another service from Platform 12. Okay, lots of train times and alterations in there, but were you paying attention? Here is today's question. Which platform is the 9.10 train to Hebden Bridge departing from? It was all in the clip. So reach back into your mind and see if you can pull the answer to the front. Our next three questions are all about the F words. Frivolous, familiar and fun. Here's question five. Which coffee company's logo features a green mermaid or siren on a white background? Now, if you want to turn the tables on me and send me a puzzle question or riddle, get in touch on my socials, please. Just drop me a message at Perfect10Carol on Facebook, Insta and TikTok. And who knows, one of your questions might end up in the show. Educating, entertaining and driving the rest of us mad. Right, here's question six. What is the name of the popular toy that consists of a cube-shaped puzzle with different coloured sides that can be twisted and turned to create different patterns. Question seven now. In the UK, what name is given to a dish made of fried mashed potato and cabbage? Quite simple, I hope. 
All right, question eight. One in, one out, where you have to either swap or remove one letter in the word to make a new one. Which letter can you change in the word wink, W-I-N-K, to make something you might light? Feel free to hit pause if you need some thinking time. But if you're ready to move on, here's the next question. We call question nine. I know, I know this because the answer literally will be on the tip of your tongue. Let's prize it out of you. Here we go. What is the first name of the wife of the current US president, Joe Biden? And here we are at our final daily riddle. Question 10 is this. Asim and Lisa decide to play tennis against each other. They bet one pound on each game they played. Asim won three games and Lisa won five pounds. How many games did they play? Okay, so another tricky maths riddle today, but you have all the information there to solve it. Give it a go. Work it through. What's the answer? And that is today's Perfect 10. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss tomorrow's questions. And if you're looking for even more puzzles and riddles, head on over to at Perfect 10 Carol on Facebook, Insta and TikTok, where you can join the rest of us. 10 questions, 10 points, 10 minutes, but did you get a perfect 10 score? Well, here come the answers. Question one. How is the National Aeronautics and Space Administration better known? And the answer is, of course, NASA, N-A-S-A. Now, NASA was founded in 1958, just 11 years before they put a man on the moon in 1969. It's quite extraordinary. Of course, sending humans into space requires a lot of brain power and the development of pioneering tech. But did you know that NASA is actually responsible for a lot of the inventions we now take for granted today? Handheld vacuum cleaners, scratch-resistant glasses, memory phone mattresses, and even camera phones were all developed thanks to NASA's initial groundwork, which is quite amazing. Thank you, NASA. Question two was our hearsay round. I asked which well-known phrase or saying was hidden in these sounds. Dearly beloved, we are here today to baptize this believer. So who has the logs and the fire lighters? Here you go, Father. Thank you. Let the ceremony begin. And the answer is baptism of fire. A tricky one today. Well done if you got it right. And don't forget to let us know in the comments what you thought the answer was. <laughs> we love to get some funny guesses to these. I'm rubbish at the hearsay round, I have to say. I'm rubbish at hearsay and the daily riddle. So um, I like the funny answers. Question three was this maths problem. If a chicken and a half lays an egg and a half in a day and a half, how many eggs will six chickens lay in six days? And the answer is 24 eggs. Work it out. Question four was our memory question. Can you recall the answer to this? Which platform is the 910 train to Hebden Bridge departing from? And the answer was platform 11. And well remembered if you got it right. Question five, and we're into the three Fs. Which coffee company's logo features a green mermaid or siren on a white background? And the answer, of course, is Starbucks. Question six. What is the name of the popular toy that consists of a cube-shaped puzzle with different colored sides that can be twisted and turned to create different patterns? Well, of course, it is the brilliant Rubik's Cube, invented by the Hungarian architect Erno Rubik, and the Rubik Cube has a frankly astonishing 43 quintillion possible combinations. So that's 43 times 10 to the power 30, which I could explain in a whole host of different ways, but it's probably easier just to say that's a lot. Question seven. In the UK, what name is given to a dish made of fried mashed potato and cabbage? Did you get it? Well, the answer is, it's one of my favourites, bubble and squeak. And the dish dates back to the 18th century. But the version we know and love was developed during World War II as a way to make the most of leftovers. It's thought that the name bubble and squeak comes from the sound it makes while you're cooking it. Question eight was, of course, one in, one out. Which letter can you change in the word wink to make something you might light? 
Well, if you change the letter N for a letter C, you get the word wick, like a candle wick, W-I-C-K. Question nine, what is the name of the wife of the current US president, Joe Biden? The answer is Jill, Dr. Jill Biden, to be precise. She is so damn tough and loyal, the president said about his wife. That's my worst American accent, but she sounds like my kind of woman. And finally, question 10, our daily riddle. Asim and Lisa decided to play tennis against each other. They bet one pound on each game they played. Asim won three games and Lisa won five pounds. How many games did they play? And the answer, of course, is 11 games. Because Lisa lost three games to Asim, she had lost three pounds, one pound per game. So she had to win back that three pounds with three more games and then win another five games to win five pounds. So how did you do? Did you score a perfect 10? If not, don't worry, there's always another chance tomorrow. Every day spent with Perfect 10 is a day that, where you've given your brain a fine workout, and that is not to be sniffed at. Remember to follow us on YouTube and across our social media channels so you don't miss out on any of our episodes. We've got daily content exclusive to Facebook, Insta, and TikTok, and we would love for you to join the rest of us over there as well. And don't forget to head on over to Perfect 10 UK to find out how to sign up to our newsletter and submit your own questions. That's nearly it for Tuesday, but before I go, I'll leave you with today's anagram. Which primetime entertainment show is an anagram of this? Clingy Storm Accident. Clingy, C-L-I-N-G-Y, Storm, S-T-O-R-M, Accident, A-C-C-I-D-E-N-T. Clingy Storm Accident accident. I'll leave that with you and the answer tomorrow when it's a whole new day of questions to educate, entertain and irritate the life out of you. I am Carol Boardman. That was my perfect time for you. I hope you have a perfect day.